Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about the S23 Ultra. Now, I'm seeing all over the internet people talking about this phone. I see a lot of the Apple users coming out and bashing the phone. I see some of the Samsung guys coming out and bashing the Apple phone. And a lot of people just want to know what is the best device. Now, I was really contemplating on if I should even do this video. I was sitting here on my couch reading through the comments on Twitter and seeing a lot of misinformation and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to grab the mic. I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on the situation. So this is off the cuff on who has the best smartphone. Now, I don't want to sit here and just bash the Apple phones. They make good hardware. They make good phones. Their iOS system is pretty good they just aren't too much on the innovative side anymore their phones are kind of copy and paste and now they're starting to really lag behind features that android phones such as the samsung galaxy series have and they are playing catch up now this is just the fact now the iphone pro 14 had a great camera but now the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, it beats it, and it should. It came out after the phone, so they can make refinements to it. It doesn't mean that the iPhone Pro 14 doesn't have a good camera. It just means it's not as good as the one on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The 200 megapixels, the 100 times zoom, is just something that Apple is not doing. And these are the facts. Now, other people start to complain about the iOS system compared to Android and they always make the comparison on some crappy Android phone. Listen, there's some really bad Android phones out there that are running old hardware, that are running old software iterations. So, of course, it's going to run bad. But if you play on a Galaxy S23 Ultra, you're going to find how quick and responsive it is, how many apps you can have running in the background, the gaming performance. It even has pass-through charging, where if you're playing a game on your phone, you can activate the pass-through charging system, where it'll bypass your battery and just keep your phone alive so that you can play games which actually prevents degradation of your battery now this is a good thing i don't really see this being applied on apple i could be wrong if i'm wrong let me know in the comment section down below then we got to get to the screens of both of these phones apple's phone actually has a samsung screen so i I don't understand where people are saying, oh, the screen is better. They get the screen from Samsung, so it's going to be the same as the one on the 23 Ultra. The only difference is, is the tuning. Samsung will tune theirs to be a little bit more vivid, and Apple's is toned down a little bit. Apart from that, they both pretty much perform the same. When it comes to battery life, yes, I've been looking at a lot of reviews out there, and it does appear that the iPhone 14 Pro Max does get about 10 minutes better battery life so that's 10 minutes pretty much we can say that both of these phones have the same battery life now as far as i know the samsung galaxy s23 ultra does charge faster i believe it takes 30 minutes to charge it up to 75 percent and 55 minutes to charge the phone fully that is exceptional now also with the ios I don't like that they lock everything down. If I want to change my home screen, if I want to change certain things in the UI interface, I have to unlock my phone or I should say jailbreak my phone. That is not something that I encounter on Samsung's phones or an Android in general. You can customize your phone to your heart's delight. In fact, the S23 Ultra has so many customizable features in the UI that it gets a little bit overwhelming. However, there are some great creators out there that do have guides for this, and I will link this in the comments section down below. Now, as far as the S23 Ultra goes, I am really impressed with this phone. The camera is top notch. The battery life is incredible. I've been really trying to kill my battery within a day's use and I just can't do it. I'm on my second day charge. It's about noon here right now and I have roughly around 40% battery life left in the phone. So this is a huge win for Samsung. This is a huge win 
for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It is a fantastic phone. I think it's the best phone in the market right now. Yes, it's a little bit pricey, but they do have some great trade-in deals over at Samsung. I also wanna acknowledge that iPhone is not the only place where you can have mag safe cases and compatibility. This is now available on Samsung's devices. You have the Spigen mag safe case and all of the accessories that go with it. And I also see some other companies making some mag safe cases. So I really don't see any type of advantage that iPhone users have over Android users. I feel that their iOS system compared to Android, it lacks a lot of features. And it's not just something that is my opinion. This is something that is factual. It is missing a lot of features. There's a lot of customization that you cannot do on an iPhone. And if I had to say it in basic terms, the iPhone is for more of the basic casual user and Android, especially the S23 Ultra, a basic user can use this phone, don't get me wrong, but it's also for advanced users. Now going forward in the next few weeks, I will be doing some camera comparisons on my channel. We'll also shoot some HDR footage with this camera. It is phenomenal and I can't wait to share more with you guys. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. Do you prefer the iPhone 14 Pro Max or do you like the Galaxy S23 Ultra? Let me know in the comment section down below and like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.